Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salaam Khan here. And today we start the new topic of demultiplexers. All right, we're done with the multiplexers, and today we start demultiplexers. All right. Uh, in short, in short, it's known as a demux. All right, as the multiplexers were known as a max. Okay, now what do we have in this demultiplexer is that we have one input and we have one input and we have many outputs, all right? Uh, so some characteristics I'll list over here. We have one input and many outputs. And by this many, I don't need a lot. I mean more than one, okay? And many outputs, all right? Uh, the second is, uh, as the name suggests demultiplexer, so the D suggests something opposite, so which means it does the reverse operation of a multiplexer, all right? This does something opposite to what a multiplexer does, and you know what a multiplexer does, so we'll be explaining this, okay? And this is also called a one-to-many uh, circuit. Uh, one to many circuit, yes, or a, or a data distributor, or data distributor. All right. So these are the main characteristics of this demultiplexer. All right. So let's say I draw I draw it over here. All right. So let's say this is a Dmax D. Max. Now, what does it has? It has a single input. This is the single input, and let's say represented by I, and it has a number of outputs. So over here we have these are the outputs. All right. So let's say this is Y naught ranging up to Y n minus one. This n minus one would be more clear when we are dealing exa with example. Let's say it's a, we have one across four marks, so it will go to Y3, all right? And that will be much clearer when we're doing that. And over here, again, we have the similar select lines. All right, S0, S1, and so on. So the Y is the output, I is the input, and the same way we have select lines. All right. Now, how many uh, uh, select lines do we have? So if N, uh, let's say we have N, which represents the number of outputs, outputs, and if we have M, that represents the number of select lines. So, so there's a formula you have N, is equal to 2 to the power m all right and similarly and similarly if you, uh, if you want to know the formula for m so m would be you know from the uh, basics of mathematics how to solve this so it would be log to the base 2 of n all right now this is the formula how to uh, uh, how to do it okay how to find it. now this is called a one to many circuit or a data distributor now why is that so like this, have a look. Yeah, an input is coming over here in one line, and it ha and it can connect it to any of the output channel. Let's say over here, let's say over here, over here. So it can connect it to many to to different output lines, which means it is distributing the data from a single line into a number of channels. So that's why it's called a data distributor. And how does it distribute it? So in the similar way we saw in the multiplexers, it does it with the help of these select lines. All right? We see, we see it properly. Let's say we have the 1 cross 2 multiplexer. Okay? 1 into 2 multiplexer. All right? This 1 cross 2 is also represented in a 1 call, uh, that, that colon sign. Okay? 1 colon sign 2. This is the proper representation, okay? But we don't know how to pronounce. We, we cannot say one colon two. So, so for simplicity, we say a one cross two, all right? 
So in one cross two, if you have a left with this formula, you have the number of outputs are two. N is equal to two. N is equal to two. So what is M? So M would be log to the base two of two. And you know from the basics of mathematics again, that log to the base A of A is one. So which means log to the base two of two would be one and therefore we have the number of select lines as one. So how to draw it? So it would be like this. Uh, the input is coming in this way. This is let's say I and this is the one to uh, D marks. All right. Over here I have made a mistake. This is the D marks. All right. Okay. And what do you have? Now you have two outputs. So this is the first output and this is the second output. This is Y0 and this is Y1. Now I told you it will go to Y to the N minus 1. So N is 2 in this case. So it's going till N minus 1 which means to Y1. And you have a single select line over here. This is S. You also have an enable as we saw in the uh, in the multiplexers and the purpose of the enable is again the same it decides whether the the circuit is going to be operating or not so when the enable is zero the, the circuit is not operating all right we will have the enable signal when the enable is zero the circuit is not operating and we have zero at all the outputs when it's one then the value depends on the select lines. As we see over here, so let's say we have the enable, we have the select line S, and then we have the two outputs Y0 and Y1. All right, so uh, uh, when the enable is zero, okay, uh, so if the thing, if the, if the, if the what, select line is a zero or if it is a one, it doesn't matter, the outputs in both the cases are zero. All right. And I can do what? I can replace this zero and one, these two, by I don't care. So whenever the enable is zero, whatever be the value of the select line, the output has a zero value. Now when this is a one, the enable is a one and this is a zero, and when this is a one and this uh, sign, so the sign, I'm confusing it. This is the select line is a one. So what do we have? So in this case, when the when this uh, select line is zero, we have y naught as a one, and y one as a zero, which means y y naught uh, the input line is connected to y naught when s is zero. All right, like this. Let me draw it. This is when S is zero, all right? And when you have S is one, so, so Y naught is zero, and the input, not uh, 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 Y, it is equal to I. All right, which means the input is connected, all right? Whatever be the value of the input. So over here, I also have an I, and this is connected to Y one, when the value of the select line is one. Keeping in place the value of the enable as high for both the cases. All right, now we can draw the, uh, the, the what? The uh, logical diagram for it also. First, we write down the expression for it, okay? So, so let's say the expression for Y naught and for Y one, okay? So we don't need to draw the K-maps because it's just a simple one. So in this case, there are zeros, so you don't need to write them down for the zeros, okay? So now we're here, have a look. Y0 is 1 in this case. So you write it. When the enable is high, it's E. And it with S complement uh, into I. Into I. All right? Uh, now for Y1, you have an E. You add it with an S. E and with an S and Y1 is I, so again with an I. All right, now is that clear? Okay, Y0 is E, S complement I, Y1 is E, S, I. 
Now, if you want to draw the diagram for it, so it is again simple. So let me remove this part of it, and then we see now. Okay. This is enough space for it. Okay. So we have we need uh, the enable signal. This is let's say the enable signal. Okay. This is the enable signal E. And then we need is the select line that is S. And then we need S complement also. So let's say this red is representing S complement. And then we have the input I. So this green let's say represents the given input I. And we have what? We have AND gates. So let's say the, I draw it with a black color over here and over here. So for the first case, for why not we have an E S complement in I. So which means we have, uh, let's say S complement is given from here. I. E is complement in I. So E, E now remains, which is let's say given from here. All right. So at here output you have Y not. All right. Now for Y one, what do you do? You have an E again. You have an E. You have an S. And you have an I. I is the green. All right, so now this will give you uh, the Y1, okay? So that's about the demultiplexer we know. We saw uh, demultiplexer does what? It takes one input and directs it to any of the output lines. The output are more in number. All right, and this is the opposite of the what? The multiplexer. That's all about the basics. We saw the one cross two multiplexer, demultiplexer. In the next video, we see the one cross four, and then in the next, so one. So, see you very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. Goodbye.